Joining us tonight, first up for you at 5 o'clock, we are learning some disturbing new details tonight. A Hartford man admitted to stabbing his girlfriend to death on Saturday afternoon. Pedro Grajal has appeared before a judge today. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal has been combing through the arrest warrant. Aya, what have you been able to learn? Aaron and Mark, according to this arrest warrant, Pedro Grajal stabbed his girlfriend 25 times. He then came here to the Hartford Police Department, where he confessed to the killing, and he told officers that he did it because his girlfriend was having an affair. Tonight, 52-year-old Pedro Grajales is under arrest and charged with murdering his girlfriend. Hartford police say on Sunday afternoon, Grajales arrived at the Hartford Police Department and told officers he had stabbed his girlfriend and that she was inside the car parked in front of the building. Officers found 57-year-old Nilda Rivera of New Britain in the car covered in blood. According to court paperwork, she sustained upwards of 25 puncture wounds to her chest, head, face and arms. The vehicle was the crime scene. The vehicle was, was driven here by the suspect. In an interview with police, Grijales stated that he has been planning on murdering her for several days. He told investigators he discovered she had been having an affair with another man. Grijales told police that on Sunday, he got her food and then took her to the parking lot of a business on Murphy Road in Hartford. It was there that he began stabbing her with a knife. He confessed he waited for her to die before driving to the Hartford Police Department to report the incident. Grajales also told police he sent a photo of the crime to the victim's new boyfriend. The numbers are staggering. The incidents uh, are increasing. Mary Jane Foster is president and CEO of the Interval House, Connecticut's largest domestic violence agency. She says they've seen a 33% increase in need since the pandemic. And what's really concerning and alarming is that the intensity of the violence is increasing. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any let up in it at all. And Interval House takes call for, calls for help 24-7. Meanwhile, Grajales is being held on a $3 million bond. His next court date is on May 15th. Reporting live in Hartford, Aguilar, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.